Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. It's time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. This morning, we're talking about who runs your day. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Well, hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. All week this week, we've been talking about planning, and I want to I put some practical results into our conversations around planning today. So that's what we're going to talk about as we dive into this idea of who runs your day. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor when you get here, whether you're watching live or watching on the replay, either way, drop a comment in there, say hi, hello, how you doing? Wave whatever is appropriate for you, whatever makes you feel happy this morning. Go ahead and drop that in there. And then sometime between now and the end of the video, if and only if you get value from our time together today, I want you to give it a heart, thumbs up, like, whatever, star, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you're watching. You know, I say that um, just because there's lots of different ways to get this show. Uh, we stream it live on Facebook every morning. A couple hours later, it's up on YouTube. Uh, the audio is pushed out in a million different places through um, TuneIn and Stitcher and iTunes and whatever. So, um, And then most mornings, we're also live on Instagram. So lots of different ways to catch this. I want, And, and I do that mainly so... Uh, it's easy for you. Whichever venue is best for you, that's the one that works best for me. So some of them have a little bit of a delay, like the YouTube's got a little bit of a delay before it pushes out there. But at any rate, whatever you do, however you consume it, be sure to catch the show every day, five days a week, right here, 7 a.m. All right, now let's get into our topic today. Either you run the day or the day runs you. That's a quote from our... Old friend Jim Rohn, either you run the day or the day runs you. That's part of the point of planning, isn't it? Is that that we should be able to be in charge of our day. But so often we let other people have control of our day. Now I'm, I'm going to ask you for a show of hands, but obviously I can't see them. But, you know, quick show of hands here. If you have turned on the feature in Outlook or Gmail that automatically accepts every meeting request, put your hand up. Come on, be honest. A lot of people do that. I just don't, I don't, I mean, I did it for a while, but I finally figured out that, in fact, that might have been the thing that kind of pushed me over the edge and let me realize I was letting other people run my day. Right? So... There's two elements to this, two, maybe three. The first one is uh, know what you want to accomplish, K-N-O-W, know the outcomes you want to create, and then know, say no, N-O, to the things that don't move you there. If you get a meeting request that doesn't move you toward the goal, the outcome, the result that you're tracking toward, say no, it's okay. I mean, most people accept all those meeting requests just out of FOMO. You know what FOMO is, right? Fear of missing out, FOMO. They just don't, I, I don't, I need to be in the loop. Do you? What happens if you're not? And here's the other thing that happens. Once you start saying no, a very interesting thing occurs. If you get a meeting request and you say no and they have the meeting anyway, that means they didn't need you. They were only being polite or whatever, right? But they didn't really need you. If they really need you and you say no, then you'll get a phone call or a follow-up email that says, um, okay, well, when can we do this? Because we really need you to be there. Okay, that's one I should, maybe should pay attention to, right? So once you begin to say no, your time becomes more valuable, Right to to 
not just valuable monetarily, but valuable in times of having access to it. So once you begin saying no, your time becomes more valuable, right? Number two, um, I'm trying to figure out the right way to say this. Plan your day, but don't, just as I've said all week long, don't hold so tight to the plan that you can't get the result that you're looking for. Right? I put stuff on my calendar all the time. And mainly I do that so that the when I do have windows available that people can schedule phone calls and consults with me, it'll, uh, that the automation can handle that. But I move stuff around all the time. If If something needs to change, I change it. It's just a plan. Right? So come up with that plan at the beginning of the day and then start working on it. Now, I, I teach this method called P plus 4F. If you haven't seen that, just go to the website, tomrigsby.com slash P, the number four, the letter F, P4F, as in Foxtrot. P4F. It's one priority and four focus areas. That's your whole plan for the day. It can fit on a little sticky note. It can fit on a little index card. It doesn't have to be much. It goes in your pocket. Tom, you don't understand. I have so much more I need to, to accomplish than that. Okay, well, knock those five out and then come back and do another five. I've done this hundreds of times, and I'm telling you, it works. Okay, just trust me on it. One priority, four focus areas. Now, here's how you have to treat that priority if everything else on the planet gets accomplished today, but that one priority does not. Today was a loss. And if you get that one priority done and don't do anything else, today was a win. And then you just count up your wins and losses. That's it. Doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. If you don't run your day, someone else is going to do it for you. And talk about lack of control. Letting somebody else run your day will ruin you. All right, that's it for today. Let me know what you think. Is that something that you can do? How would you feel saying no to those meeting requests? Is that something that would freak you out a little bit? Is it something that worries you? Something that I'm oh, just not sure if I can do that. What do you think about only having five things on your to-do list in the morning? Does that make you a little nervous? Let me know down in the comments. Tell me what you think. Love, love, love to hear from you. All right, that's it for today. Tomorrow's Friday, free coaching Friday. So get your questions ready. We'll do an edition of Stump the Coach tomorrow. So if you have something you think you can stump me with, be sure and tune in and give it a shot. Lots of smart people have tried. Nobody succeeded yet. All right, talk to you again tomorrow. You guys have a fantastic Thursday.